Welcome back to this clown's garage. In this video, I will be installing a Leeds vacuum pump. Now in this car, we installed a vacuum canister. However, the owner of the car wants better braking and there's no better braking than a vacuum pump. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the link of that video where I installed this in the description below if you wanna see that install. Now this is the piece we're putting in. This is the Bandit by Leeds. Uh, you go to www leadbreaks.com and this comes different colors uh, the bandit is the actual pump inside this is the this is the black bandit because it's black the cover uh, I also have chrome and the naked bandit so this is the unit itself it comes with vacuum hose of course uh, the stickers you want that it comes with the harness a 15 amp fuse it comes with hardware self tappers and nuts and bolts and some rubber washers and stuff and of course instructions alright so this is the bracket that comes on here I took that off there's uh, two 10 millimeter bolts on top and two on the bottom the bottom you could just slide this off see how it's notched over there and this there's four 5 millimeter allen headed screws and that comes right off and this is the bandit and now it's naked and this is what it looks like inside. You have the relay, you have the press, pressure switch down there, and it's all wired up and self-contained. So if you don't have room, you could just buy the Naked Bandit and put that in. But if you do have the room, you could just buy this whole assembly here. Okay, so uh, we put this in place with a vacuum can. It actually looks like it's lining up perfectly with the bracket over there. So we just gotta drill four holes and put this in. All right, so now I just put the bracket here. I marked on the other side where the top of this bracket was when I put the whole thing in. So I'm gonna scribe to put some holes here. I have my scribe. So as you can see, one hole's gonna be there and I'm gonna scribe the other holes. All right, so we have the scribe marks here and over there. I'm gonna go ahead and drill these holes, baby. All right, now, now I'm gonna punch a hole in all four of them that we scribed over there. And we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and use a small drill bit to start everything. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three. And all four are done. And now I'm going to go ahead and use a 17th 64th drill bit. This is around the size of the hole for those uh, screws that we're going to use. Now I go ahead and do that with the other three holes. And the last one. Yeah, baby. All right now, since that bracket has a little indents underneath, and this bracket's gonna wobble a little bit if we put it on, we're just gonna put fatter rubber washers on the bottom, like this, and we're gonna double up the top ones. We're gonna use these cap screws, these nylocks, that the kit is supplied with. So we're gonna go ahead and mount this bracket, then we're gonna mount the whole unit on top of this. So I'm gonna put these in first, the bottom ones, and I have my helper holding my pair of nuts on the other side to put them on. Okay. And now I'm gonna put the top ones in. And tighten her down. Now the Allen head cap screw is a 3 16 Allen and in the back we have a 7 16 wrench holding the nylock. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down. Alright, so we're just going to tighten, hand tighten down the rest until we see the rubber washers squeeze out very slightly and we're good.
All right, so underneath this unit, that's the nipple where the vacuum hose goes. So I'm gonna keep this covered for now. I'm gonna pop this on and put the 10 millimeter bolts on top of that bracket that's already in there. So go ahead and do that. And the bottom ones slide in from underneath. I'm gonna put some red thread lacquer on these top bolts. Get this started from up here. And that caught. And the other one in the back over there. There, went right into the hole, baby. And now, it's gonna tighten these four bolts down. Two on top, and two on the bottom. Remember the bottom ones, just slide on. That's good. And that's good. And these are the bottom ones. That's good. You can see the slots in there, where it slid in. And that one's tight. So this thing is mounted. All right, so we put some wire loom over this. Tape the end over here. And this fuse. Wire loom that whole thing. All right, now over here. This is the ground used for the horn. We're gonna put the ground for this uh, vacuum pump on there. And make sure when you use the ground, make sure it's clean. Uh, like if it's on the body, make sure you take the paint off, you go straight down to the metal. So we know it's a good ground because the horn works. Let me put that over there. All right, the ground wire, we're gonna cut it right here. And twist it. And stick it. Crimp it down. Give it a tug, that's good. And it's always good if you put wiring connectors on the outside of the car to weather seal them, and that's good. All right, now we're gonna plug in the connector. And that's good. All right, so we're gonna wrap this on top over here to keep the fuse accessible from the top. And we're just gonna route the ground wire over to the horn. All right, now we routed the ground right where the horn is, the ground. And we're just tighten that down. And we're good. All right, this is what it looks like from here. Nice and clean install, baby. And I'll show what it looks like on top. And over here, you see, you don't even see any wires. This is gonna get zip tied to the hose underneath, to the vacuum hose. And nice clean install right here. Okay, so we don't have a long enough run to go inside the car where the fuse block is. So I'm just gonna use a 14 gauge to replace this wire. And it's a tinned one, and we're just gonna use a butt connector close to the fuse. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in now. So that's it. I'm just gonna tape that up with some black tape. All right, now we're gonna use the same hose that was in here before for the vacuum can. And I'm just gonna put this up here. And I put some silicone spray on that. So it could help us put it in the hole. And that's really, really tight. <clears throat> and that's good. All right, so we taped the wire here on the hose that was going on the old uh, vacuum can. I'm just gonna pull this through and it goes through the fender well here, out the back over there. Just gonna pull it through now. We're taking the old hose off the booster. I'm gonna pull that through. And there you go. Now we're 
that we have the wire through. All right, so what we can do now is this hose that we connected to the vacuum pump goes straight to the back of the carburetor over there. So we're gonna take that off, plug the vacuum nipple in the back of the carburetor, and put that hose that comes off the vacuum pump straight into the vacuum booster. We're gonna do that now. All right, so we popped it out. We're just gonna cut it right here. Pop it on the booster. All right, pop that on there. You can also put a little butter sauce or silicone lube on that to slide on. It's good. All right, now we're gonna put a vacuum cap in the back of the carburetor. And we are good. All right, now we ran and fed the wire through inside the car here. All right, so this car has a switched on fuse block. So we put the wire right there. We're gonna put the fuse right there and we're ready. Uh, if, this isn't ha if your car doesn't have a separate block like this, you can just put it on the accessory, the accessory spot on the stock fuse block. So we're good here. All right, so now we put everything on, the grill's on. Uh, we're going to run it for you so you guys can hear how quiet it is. So we're going to go ahead and run it. Until it builds up the amount of vacuum for the pressure sensor to stop it. Right there, that is very, very quiet. So that's a really nice product from Leeds. So we'll go ahead and drive it around now, see how it feels. Okay, so we're driving this thing around. The brakes feel really nice. Let's test it out with a couple of pumps with the brake pedal, see what happens. Three pumps and it's still really good. This thing is amazing. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like me, share me, also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, when you subscribe, check that bell to be notified when new videos come up. See ya!